Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to fix an error that is the code execution cannot proceed because UCRT base DLL was not found. So if you are receiving this error while opening any application on your computer, then please follow the steps shown in this video. So the first step is to run system file checker. So to do this, open PowerShell. So go ahead and type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell, then click on run as administrator. Or you can simply make a right click on the start menu and then click on Windows PowerShell admin and then click on yes to allow and copy the first command and then paste it on the PowerShell window and then hit the enter key on the keyboard and let the scan complete. And once the scan is 100%, close this window and run the second command. So again, go ahead and type in PowerShell or make a right click on the start menu and then click on Windows PowerShell Admin then click on yes to allow and then run the second command. The commands are provided in the video description. So once the scan is 100% then go ahead and restart your computer. So let this complete. Once this is 100% go to the start menu then click on power icon then click on restart. And after the restart, you can go ahead and try to run application. That should go ahead and fix the error. Still, you are facing the problem Then you have to install Visual Studio files from Microsoft website. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. Scroll down and you have to go ahead and download Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19. So click on this x86 file and also x64 file so you have to install both vc redis x86 and x64 run the exe file click on run and then click on repair or install whatever you see click on yes to allow and then run the second file click on run click on repair and install both x86 and x64 version now scroll down and here you can see visual studio 2013 click on this link and scroll down and install x64 version so select english united states click on this link scroll down and then install x86 version 2 english united states click on this and click on the exe file and run both the files click on repair or install click on yes to allow run the second file click on run repair click on yes to allow and once this is done, close these windows and then also do the same thing with Visual Studio 2012. So click on this link. It will take you to the Microsoft website. You might have to log into the Microsoft website and then install both x86 and x64 versions. So here you can see x86 and x64 selected. Then click on download, run the exe file. And once the installation is complete, go to the start menu, click on the power icon, then click on restart and then you can go ahead and check your system. Now still you are facing the problem, then go ahead and update your Windows 10. So go to the start menu, click on the power uh, click on the settings icon, click on settings, go to update and security and then click on check for update. Once the update is installed, restart your computer and then check your computer. Now the last step is to use media creation tool, to use media creation tool open this link the link is provided in the video description and then click on download tool now now once you click on download tool now a exe file will download you have to run this exe file and then you will see this sc screen you have to go ahead and agree to the terms then by default upgrade this pc now will be checked so click on next it will go ahead and download windows 10 along with the latest update do not worry about the data loss because be before the installation it will give you an option the option to keep your personal file and application will be checked by default and then you click on install. So when you when the option to keep your personal files and data is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.